Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to download a sample project um, for Android from GitHub and get it imported into Eclipse and compiled and built and running on a device or emulator. So GitHub is a really great resource, there's lots of projects up here for Android and all other types of programming and uh, you can download those projects and use them yourself, you can get the source code, dig through it, see how they work, make changes, all that fun stuff. For this example, I'm going to be using the Android Universal Image Loader, which is actually a library, but as part of this project, they have a sample application here that shows you how to use the library and what it's capable of. So that's going to be the Android project that we're going to want to import into Eclipse here in just a minute. So you can come to this URL right up here to download this sample project and the whole library, um, or if you're using a different project, obviously the steps are going to be pretty much the same. Uh, but this is going to be the one I use. So once you get to your GitHub page, what you want to do is click this download this repository as a zip button. If you have a Git client and you're familiar with how Git works, you can use this URL over here, obviously, to check it out with your favorite Git client. Um, but for now, just to make it easy, I'm going to just go ahead and use this download as a zip button. So once you get that downloaded, you want to unzip that, get it into a place where you know where it's at, get it opened up, and we can take a look at what's inside there. We got a couple folders here, downloads library, sample, and some other files that, that make up this project. The one that we are most interested in today is sample, um, because everything inside this sample folder is actually the Android project. So this are, these are the project files that you would get like if you created a new project in Eclipse. Um, these are the same type of things, so you got to manifest activities, layouts, all that fun stuff is inside this sample folder. So this is going to be the folder that we want to import uh, here in a second inside of Eclipse. So once you get that downloaded, get it unzipped, opened up, and then we can switch over to Eclipse. So once you're inside Eclipse, you, uh, you want to go into your package explorer, just right click where you have blank space, choose import, and then from there you want to open up the Android tab and choose existing Android code into workspace. Go ahead and double click on that. This top item here, root directory, this is going to be the directory of that sample folder inside the code that we just downloaded. So go ahead and click browse and navigate to wherever you saved that sample code to. Open that up and choose the sample folder. It's very important that you do choose the sample folder and not like this top folder or anything else. You want to click the sample one only because right now we're trying to import just the sample application, not the actual library itself. So choose sample, click OK. Should pop up in your projects box here with a check mark next to it. Uh, it's called Home Activity. That's just the name that Eclipse gave to it based on the name of one of the activities inside the project. We can rename that here in a second. Uh, one of the things I like to do on this page is check this box over here it says copy project into workspace That's a good one because it will leave the file that I downloaded alone It won't make any changes to that and it will give me a separate copy of it inside my workspace so that I'm free To make changes go in and you know mess around with the source code all that fun stuff And if I happen to break something I can always go back to this downloaded copy and uh, Restart from there just in case anything goes wrong so once you get all, everything in this page done, you know, check this box, then you can click the finish button. And then that should take just a second here. And then we should see a new uh, project open up over here in the package explorer. So we got home activity. If you want to change that name to something a little bit more descriptive, you can right click on it, choose refactor, rename. I definitely suggest you do this if you uh, get into the habit of, of opening up other people's projects just because home activity is not very descriptive doesn't really tell us what this project is so we we would probably want to rename that to something like universal image loader sample or something for now I'm gonna leave it how it is but but just know that's how you do that with refactor rename and it's always better to have a descriptive name for these things so with this sample project it actually needs the jar file this particular project uh, and lots of the ones you'll download they'll have these jar files that you have to add some basic projects won't have any jar files, but, but a lot of the ones you're going to find on GitHub are going to have these. So you can open up the libs folder and see we got Android uh, or Universal Image Loader 1.8.4 with sources.jar. That's the jar file that we need to add to the Java build path before we're able to build this project here. So in order to do that, right click on home activity, choose properties. Then we want to come down here to Java path on the left side there. 
and then along the top we want to pick the libraries tab so usually it'll start out on source we want to click libraries tab once you're there we can click this add external jars button and then we want to navigate to the folder inside our workspace that we just created by importing this project so home activity and then we want to go to libs and select this universal image loader jar file once we got that we can click open if everything goes well you should see it pop up in this list over here and as long as you don't have any red X's or anything that looks like an error in this window you can go ahead and click OK and after that uh, we should be good to go we should be able to compile and build this just fine and run it so to do that we right click on home activity we can choose run as Android application and if everything went well then that will um, load up in our emulator in just a second but while that's working uh, it's gonna take a minute because the emulator is kinda slow I'm gonna switch back over here to github just to talk about that for a second so github is a is a great resource this is you know just one of the things that's on github there's many many projects out here you can choose explore github if you wanna look around at some different ones uh, for lots of different languages or if you're looking specifically for Android you can go to this search you can type in Android here and it will uh, pop up lots and lots of projects come back I mean it looks it's got 52,000 different Android projects so I definitely recommend um, you to kinda take a look around on here find something that looks interesting to you download it install it play around with it you know dig into the source code a little bit see how it works maybe make some changes there's lots and lots of good stuff on here and it's a great way to learn from uh, from other people's work so let's see are we loaded up over here in the emulator yep looks like we are so see we got UIL sample app this is the sample application that comes with the universal image loader and I'm not gonna go into too much detail about what all this stuff is and, and how it works because the the main uh, goal for this video is just to show you how to get it downloaded and running but if you do have an interest in this image loader library, I definitely recommend for you to check out this sample project. It will show you what the, pro what the image loader is capable of, and then uh, once you see what it's capable of, you can dig into the source code to see exactly how to do it. So that's it for now. I hope you guys found this video uh, informative, and if you liked it, please go ahead and subscribe on YouTube because I will be posting lots and lots of more videos up there. So uh, that's going to be it for today, and thanks for watching.